Hi everyone, my name is Liu and today I'll be teaching you how to get shit done. If you learn how to cultivate discipline, you will be repaid literally your entire life by it. I mean, it's a skill that is so invaluable, especially in the professional world. Think about successful politicians, lawyers, doctors, athletes, architects, all people that are successful in their field. What do they all have in common? Well, they have cultivated discipline. Unfortunately, most of us aren't born with the natural willpower to do stuff that we just really don't want to do, considering that our desire for short-term gratification often overpowers our desire for long-term gratification. That's why it's so important to learn how to cultivate discipline and learn how to force yourself or encourage yourself how to do stuff that you just really, really don't want to do. So without further ado, let's get into it! So the first point that I'll be talking about is having a comfortable and organized workspace. So it's easier to work with a clear mind if you have a clear space, it seems logical enough. So my workspace is very spacious, very clean, that's personally how I like it. My stepsister on the other hand has a very clear, nearly empty white space with a little to-do list. And that's a really nice wall. And then we have my sister. Now this is definitely the desk that you do not want to be studying on. Though she has a very nice board, I'll give her that. So she's got little quotes she likes, her goals for her grades and her university things. So yeah, I'll give her that. However, everyone has different tastes and you should really tailor your workspace to adapt to the optimum conditions for you to work in. Some additional tips that may work for you are having soothing classical music, scented candles, or even natural light flowing in, and also having everything in arm's reach. Just little things like that can make it so much easier to stay focused on your work. The second point I'll be discussing is getting rid of distractions. I know everyone hates this one, but honestly, get rid of your phone, YouTube, Facebook, Tumblr, the news, Gmail, and Instagram to whoever actually uses Instagram on the computer. Installing a program that can shut off distractions really helps. You know, otherwise just shut off all your devices. And if you really need it, then shut off your internet as well. Some people really need to. So the third point I'll be talking about is literally just start. Just start. Tell yourself, I'm going to work for five minutes. Only five minutes. I mean, that's nothing. My five-year-old brother can concentrate for five minutes. So after you've done those five minutes, tell yourself, okay, well, just 10 minutes more, literally just 10 minutes more. And then after that, just say 15 minutes more, and before you know it, you've done half an hour of work. Obviously, this can't go on, like, forever. The hard thing is basically just starting to do the work in the first place, because once you start and once you get in that zone, it's much easier for you to continue, and you don't need those little tricks to, to help you out. Another way of doing this is by dividing it by tasks. So imagine you have to memorize a syllabus, just tell yourself, I'm only going to memorize 5.4 and 5.5. So it's just two sections of the syllabus, and using the same technique before as before, just continue on learning 5.6 and then 5.7, and then within time you'll get into that rhythm, you'll get into that zone, and it just makes it much easier to continue. Because, you know, often it's just starting that is so hard, and once you start, it's actually not that bad at all. An amusing little method that I personally use is that, for example, if you need to do reading and you want to do your nails, tell yourself that you can paint one nail every time you've read one page. So this actually works pretty well because not only do your nails end up being very medic meticulously very well done since you take so much time doing them, but it really motivates you to continue and no one wants one hand with nail polish on and not the other. Oh, but I'm a guy, I can't paint my nails. Well, actually, Guys can paint their nails, and secondly, that's just even better because every time you want to remove the nail polish from one finger, you'll have to read a page, so in the end you actually end up reading double. So yes, just start. Start. That's it. Just start. So the fourth tip I want to talk about is to take breaks. So I was actually kind of hesitant about putting this one in because for me, if I take a 15 minute break after working for an hour, literally I will not be working for the rest of that night. For me, it works much better to work in, at three hours at a time while I'm in that zone and then have a break 
So you have to know what works for you, try out different methods, at the end it, it's very personal. Breaks however are really important because you need to work at your optimum potential, you need to be the healthiest you can, most awake and just in your full tip top shape really. Number five, the fifth point I'm going to be talking about is bribing yourself. So imagine you have two hours of work to do, tell yourself that once you finish those two hours you can watch an episode of this TV show you really like. No, not Sherlock because those are an hour and a half long. Or I don't know, you can go to the shops, buy a chocolate you really like, or read two chapters of a book you've been dying to read. So not only can bribing yourself serve as motivation, but when you do do the, the but when you do 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 the things that you enjoy, then you'll feel so much better about doing them because you actually deserve them and it'll be so much more satisfying. Lastly, number six, motivation. Use motivation as a tool. Use anything that motivates you to get that shit done. It's different for everyone. For my stepsister, it's having a to-do list and crossing off every little box. For my sister, it's having all those universities and her goals for her grades on her board. Then for me, it might be doing better than a student I'm healthily competitive with. Helps a lot, but often considered unethical. For you, it might be making a teacher or professor really proud, making your parents proud, getting the grades you want, getting into the university you want. Honestly, anything, anything at all that motivates you. Put it up there, think about it, and think that if you do the things that you don't want to do, then you will be rewarded in the future by the things that motivate you to do them. Something I really need to point out, however, is that motivation should not be something you rely on. Why? Well, motivation is unreliable. I mean, we all have those shitty days where all you want to do is snuggle in bed, watch Bob's Burgers while drinking hot chocolate, but motivation isn't going to keep you going through those terrible days. It's only discipline that will. And as I said before, discipline, it's so important to be able to cultivate discipline because it's the one thing that you can be sure to rely on. So yes, those were my six tips. I hope they helped. So if you're procrastinating right now by watching this video, this message is for you. Go do the things that you have to do. Seriously, just go do it. Do it now. Get off your bloody chair or your bed or wherever you are. Like, I promise that you will be rewarded for it. And it's very important to know that a little can go a long way. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!